police to suspected gang or group members in South Bend remains loud and clear. Put down your guns or we'll come after you. Last week, police held a call in. Roughly 30 men were ordered to a meeting as part of their probation or parole. Now today, police told the public how that meeting went and gave more insight into a new strategy they're using to combat crime. WSBT's Rachel Lake joins us from the live desk with more. Rachel. Rick, it's called group violence intervention. Police say it's not a plan. There's no end to it. Rather, it's a continuous effort by police, social services, and other community leaders. And this is what we're trying to do in this community. We're trying to build a beautiful garden. And for the city of South Bend, that starts with a fresh approach to fighting gun violence. And what's not traditional, doing it perhaps with making less arrests, without spreading our resources across the city, but strategically focusing, putting the spotlight on the worst or the first. Chief Ron Teachman explained to the public that the first is the first group that kills someone, while the worst is the most violent group, one that shoots at people, cars, houses. They'll focus on the worst group until the first group commits a homicide. But we're also watching carefully and measuring the level of violence that's group driven. It's what police plan to do after holding their very first call in. Last week they ordered 28 men, the average age about 23 years old, to come to a meeting as part of their probation or parole. Police told them what would happen if they continued down the path they were on and offered help from social services. And from that came two promises. We will help you if you let us. But we will stop you if you make us. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Bobby Woods knows about gun violence all too well. Her own son was shot and killed 11 years ago. Since then, she's been dedicated to fighting street crime. She spoke to the men at the call-in. I believe that they were sincere about changing their lives around. It's exactly what police hope to see. Meanwhile, they'll be looking out for those who don't make a change. Now, the 28 men ordered to the call in, seven either didn't show up or were late. The chief says police are working with parole and probation officials to determine punishment. Police say they anticipate doing more call ins, possibly in the next 90 days. Reporting from the live desk, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News. Well, at Goshen City.